Salesforce Marketing Cloud Interview Questions Q1 What are the different types of data extensions? Standard Used to create a new data extension and add custom fields as needed. Filtered Select an existing data extension and filter out the records by defining a criteria. Random Select a percentage or number of subscribers from a source data extension. Q2 What is the difference between AMP script and SSJS server side JavaScript? AMP script is mainly used for personalization. It is easy to learn and can better handle use cases where each subscriber needs to see unique content than SSJS. SSJS is mainly used for integrations and includes additional features, like arrays, array function, JSON parsing, that don't exist in AMP script. In general, most of the tasks can be performed using AMP script. But it depends on the use cases, functions supported, and advantages of choosing one over the other. Q3 Mention the different entry sources in Journey Builder. Data Extension, Salesforce Data, Cloud Pages, Event, API Event, Salesforce Audience Studio, Google Analytics 360, and Mobile Connect Audience. Q4 Explain the difference between Lookup versus Lookup Rows versus Lookup Order Rows. Lookup Retrieve a single record from a data extension. Lookup Rows Retrieve set of records from a data extension. The maximum is 2000. Lookup ordered rows. Retrieve more than 2000 records and sort them based on one or more fields. This might cause some performance issues. Q5 What is the syntax for synchronized objects data extension in SQL? Considering the contact object as an example, querying a parent business unit. Select name from contact underscore salesforce querying at child business unit, select name from int.contact underscore salesforce, if the data is synced at parent unit. www.salesforcestart.com salesforcestart